I, I equate painting and surfing and music in the same kind of way. It's just, it's about that little zone where you are, you know, it's, it could be, if you're playing in a session, there could be 20 musicians, but it's really about you, your instrument, and that little place where you are um, physically and, and mentally. And uh, surfing is the same, you know, it's, it's really about you and that little moment that you're having. And, and I find painting being just as a therapeutic, it's just when you're fully involved with something like that, you know, you, you don't really, your, your vision just really narrows down to what you're doing and, and the space you're in. So I find the feeling, uh, that, that that little um, introspective feeling, it, it's, it's, it's about the same in, in all three. So that, I suppose that's why I like doing them, you know, it's, it gives you those, uh, those moments. My grandfather was a painter and he painted a lot of um, still lives and, and, and copied a lot of, tried to copy a lot of Renaissance paintings and things like that. So as a kid I was watching him paint and uh, I was trying to, uh, he didn't really teach me directly but I was trying to emulate what he was doing, you know, behind his back. <laughs> I'm of the idea that if you look too long at the painting then, you know, it maybe it has to be instantly recognizable. Maybe as simple colors as possible, very bright, very strong, and with big contrast. So it's more or less the idea to make it as 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 simple as possible for everybody to decipher it easily. It it has to be easily understood, and and uh, you know with those simple shapes and simple colors, I can I can have fun making it, make it as simple as possible, and it has to be fun for people to watch. <laughs> were snowboarding a lot in, in France where we'd go to the, uh, the Pyrenees and uh, we'd never heard of surfing and one of my friends one day um, showed up with a surf magazine and uh, I just said you never believe what those guys are doing in the water. The next summer we, uh, we got a few boards and, uh, and just went surfing every weekend. We had free, we'd, we'd go on the west coast of France. We were about an hour from, uh, from the west coast and we'd just go in there and, and sleep in the sand dunes and have campfires and you know surf all day and play guitar and <laughs> have a fire at night. So it's a it's a great way to uh, spend your your teenage years. It's been with me ever since. Uh, and, uh, I have to surf. <laughs> For the waves, I use a very very uh, the, the technique very similar to still life painting. Um, so it's uh, it's it's done in in just in a few sessions uh, with wet paint. It's, it's much looser in its approach, it's much, uh, it's much, it's less deliberate, uh, but the, the importance there is on, on you know, values and uh, more, more than colors, uh, really on, this, on, the, on the contrast more than the colors themselves, and the colors come after. And you can always refine it, you know, after that, but the, the, the sketching or the drawing, the initial drawing doesn't have to be perfect to start with. Mm -hmm. 